Okay, there's there's two types of mindsets. Number one, you got a fixed mindset. Yep. Okay, this is a person that's watching this for entertainment, right? They want to get a, you know, maybe a tip, a tactic, a trick. They don't really looking to grow and change your life. And then number two, there's a person that's like a sponge and they have the growth mindset. And this person is very, very dangerous. And this person can be the next person that is a billionaire. You can take over the world and nobody can stop you. As long as you'll do one thing, you'll self-educate. I didn't need a degree. It didn't matter what my last name was. It didn't matter if I had a wealthy family. It didn't matter if I was once a loser. None of that mattered. What mattered is, who do I want to become? It's not about who you are, it's about who do you want to become. So I'm going to ask everybody, who do you want to be? Not who are you, okay? Don't look in the mirror and see yourself for who you are now. Who do you want to be? And I was a loser. And at 18 years old, I was a loser. I can tell you for a fact that anybody that was around me got no value out of me. And I didn't like that. I looked in the mirror, didn't like who I was, and I decided to make a decision, which I'm going to ask you guys to make today. Who do you want to be? The only thing that's holding you back is you. Raise your hand right now if you're not too good to change. Raise your hand right now if you have the growth mindset and I don't care who's looking at you. I know I know you got your buddy next to you, right? Here's what I'm going to tell you. In three years from now, you guys probably won't be sitting next to each other anymore, okay? All right, and you're still going to have to take care of your family and this company's still relying on you. Listen to me. Make decisions for yourself. What's the great separator? How do you get to where you want to go? It's by deciding to be a contributor. Bring it, guys. Every single one of you has more inside of you that you haven't brought to yourself. And it's time. So this is the goal. The goal is, it's about how to outdo ourselves every day. Period. So I want you to make one commitment. It's for today to do better than you did yesterday. And then in tomorrow, when tomorrow gets here, if God wakes us up, we're alive, we're going to do better tomorrow than we did today. And we are going to run this way, and you guys will have tripled your skill. And you didn't chase being the best. You didn't chase beating Tommy. You didn't chase, you know, crushing your competition. You chase getting better. A public speaker you speak for a living this mouth you speak with it you'll get what you want because of this mouth this mouth if you want to use your hand if you want to be passionate if you want to have energy you're going to need to do more than just speak with your mouth you're going to need to speak with your damn heart do you want a different life the question is I talk to a salesman I say do you want a different life he says yes I say do you want a different life he says yes and I said why can't I hear it in your voice when you talk to people that it sounds like you want a different life because you speak with your mouth and you've settled. Winners speak with their heart and you can tell when you talk to them that they care about everything that they're around, they care about everybody they're talking to and they're consumed with winning. They have, they don't care if they're broke. Matter of fact, winners go back to broken on E and zero every day. Me and my wife, we go back to zero every day. No matter how much money we got in the bank, my wife knows the way that I work when I'm pissed off is that I'll go make as much money as I want. Comfort will kill you. It isn't to be the best every day. It isn't to be better than your competition. And I know that you're like, Andy, what do you mean? Are you telling our guys not to be better? Listen to me. This is how I changed and grew. And it isn't to beat the people around you, okay? This is the goal. This is the great separator right here. It's to wake up every day, every single day, and be better than yourself yesterday. That's the goal. That's the great separator. Now I want to ask you a question. Are you, this is between you and you, are you getting better every single day? Because if you are, this is the great separator. This is when we're looking up and in six months from now, some of you, you're doing things that no one ever believed you would do and you're so far along and they're going to say, how did you do it? And you're not going to have the story say, well, I wanted to be the best. You're going to say, dude, all I did was get better every day. And it was consistent and there was a compound effect and this is how winning gets done. So I'm going to tell you, from somebody that sucked at selling, that didn't have this energy, that didn't believe in himself, how I smashed everyone was I played by these rules. So for some of you, I keep saying, be the best, be the best, be the best. And then I thought, I thought, dang man, that really wasn't how I became great. I didn't just
just magically shoot across and become great because I didn't ever see myself being great. But I had a good leader that told me the great separator, Andy, was this. It's to wake up every single day and be better than yourself. And he goes, listen to me. As long as you know that you did that, don't lie to yourself, man. As long as you know you did that, he's like, eventually you're going to look up and you're going to be number one in all those areas.